You're here by notified that a special call meeting of the City Commission is called to be held at the regular meeting place of City Commission at City Hall, 201 North 2nd Street, in the City of Palakka to begin at 4.30 p.m. on Tuesday, June 9, 2019. The purpose of the meeting is to consider an employment agreement with Elwin Lee Garner for Interim City Manager Services. Please govern yourselves accordingly. Roll call, please. Um, Mayor Terrell Hill. Here. Vice Mayor Mary Lawson Brown. Present. Commissioner Rufus Borum. All present. Commissioner Justin Kimball. Present. Commissioner Tammy McCaskill. Here. All present and accounted for. Any other points? Okay. Um, have everyone stand. We're going to have our invocation and pledge the flag. Uh, Chief Brown, you want to lead this invocation? Sure. Heavenly Father, thank you for gathering us here today. Thank you for letting us all travel safely, have our safe week of work. Uh, watch over our commissioners tonight as they make decisions that lead our city into the future. Uh, have us all travel home safely. Uh, thank you for everything that you do for us. In your name, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Public comment. Is there anyone here for public comment? Public comments are limited to three minutes. Uh, no action will be taken on topics of discussion. Please fill out a yellow speaker card in the back of the room if you're here for public comment. Seeing no one, we'll close public comment. Moving on to our agenda. Ms. Robinson. The resolution authorizing execution of employment agreement with Elman Lee Garner for interim Palaka City Manager, Ms. Tucker. priorities, among other things, giving them clear direction as to what we need to 
do in order to move forward. I think we're starting early. You know, by bringing somebody, if we if we're saying that the, the start date is tomorrow or whatever it may be, or retro and back, I don't know if that's the right path we need to take. But that's just my comment. What do you suggest? My suggestion is that we need to provide him with the city's priorities, direction as to what he need to accomplish over the next few months. Um, I think that would be important for anybody coming in because coming in cold turkey, cold you know, cold turkey, he doesn't know what he's going to be working on in in terms of moving the city forward. I, I, well, based on the conversation that we did have, and I may be both incorrect, but I thought we were just trying to bring somebody in to float us through the budget season. Um, that was the last thing that we talked about um, prior to me making a motion on that we're not looking for anybody to come in and make any strenuous decisions. We're just looking for somebody to come and get us through the budget process and allow Ms. Driggers to go back to doing what she does and hiring her an assistant. Budget process, I mean, um, because it's going to take him time to even learn what we even have going on. But it's, I mean, that's understandable, but that's why we have department heads who will work with him to get him where he needs to be. We can't provide him that direction when it comes down to the budget standpoint because we're all a part of it ourselves. I understand, but my point is I think he, before he starts at anybody else, start, whether they temper in a room or whatever, again, Betsy was familiar with everything that we had going it, it, and, and I'm just not comfortable with interims coming in or permanent coming in with without any direction that's my that, and that's what we've, that's been our pitfall for the past few times so I, I'm just not comfortable with that but it's up to the commission as to what we want to do So what direction are you looking to go? What, what I'm looking to go into whatever we can. We need to we need to first get our vision. I mean, it was already stated by numerous people that we need to get our vision, our mission statement, our priorities. What are we going to accomplish for this city? But I think and move that, that and, and turn that into the hands of the city manager and let the city manager work the priorities. And we provide them with feedback as to whether they are meeting no goals, no time frames, timeline. Haven't we already identified our four priorities? Oh, but at the same time, we're working the priorities. But how are we measuring? How are we measuring the priorities? But again, I think we. I, I, I wholeheartedly agree. I don't want you to think I disagree, but I think we're mixing what we're trying to do. I think we're just trying to bring somebody in to help us get through what we're currently trying to get through. So even if we provide him with the mission and all of that kind of stuff, which we need to do, he's not going to be here for a great deal of that. So what he needs to be focusing on is more of our immediate things that we have going on and our grant to help us get through it. But as far as our vision and mission, we can't get that together in one meeting or two meetings. That's something that we're going to have to sit down and come up with. That's not his agenda being here. His agenda from what we said and talked about our last meeting was to help us get a, stay afloat and to let Ms. Driggers go back to doing what it was that she does as city clerk. Um, I made my statement. I don't think I need to keep going back and forth, but I'm, I just made my statement in the commission. I think it's dialogue. It's I know, but the commission, the commission can make any decision we want, but I just made my statement. That's all I have. But your input is your your input is welcome. I think more than anything else, it's getting an understanding of what it is that your concern is. Is probably is, if I'm understanding correctly, that's what you're looking for. Just more understanding. I'm looking at because I'm I'm understanding and I agree. But what you, we're not putting out what it is that we, okay. So we know that we need to do the vision. Are we going to do the vision tonight? Are we going to do the mission tonight? Are we going to push it off a couple of, another couple of weeks? That's defeating the purpose of us bringing in the intern if we're going to continuously put this off. We're doing not only the current intern of the injustice, we're doing everybody that's a part of this process an injustice if we keep putting it off. So again, every time I talk about something, I always say, what is our next move? Because if this was, was going to be something, we should have done that meeting as far as our vision and goal meeting prior to this meeting. 
I, I have. I right, but guess what? We got a man. We got a. We, we got an individual getting ready to start. He doesn't know what our current priorities are and how we're going to move forward. That and that's all part of keeping the city afloat. I think he knows more than you give credit for because he's done a whole bunch of research. Huh? He just he just said it a one on one with me voluntarily. Oh, and <laughs> call it what you want with our budget during our one-on-one -on -one budget meetings. He just sat in there and he had a whole bunch of input. So I think I think we don't give him as much credit for that. He is uh, he's very but no, he's very astute when it comes to what's there. I think more than anything else, Commissioner, I think he can provide uh, the additional guidance necessary to make metrics for the things that you're concerned about. I think that's what that experience does. When you have I, this is my belief with the senior advisor. The senior advisor is like a substitute teacher who was once the principal. And his job is not only to write the ship, but he can also provide experience and expertise and wisdom, which in many ways goes beyond some of the things that's there. He he's not in here to make a splash. He's in here he, he's in here just to basically provide some experience, um, leadership as it relates to certain things that are there, and that there are places where he can use his experience and wisdom to help create the metrics, to create the things necessary. When we talk about, we've got identifiable, um, we've got identifiable um, initiatives that we have in place and priorities, and I think if anything, you may be able to help him say, hey, can you create the metrics or the process that would allow the next manager to transition. What are the things from your experience that you've seen that have been instrumental in a manager coming into a new situation to allow them to truly understand what the commission's goals are? And I think that comes more so from sitting down and talking to us individually um, than it does from you trying to, we're trying to give them an additional training session, I mean, or even some directives. I think that comes from learning um, what the priorities are overall because while we identify four priorities there may be some things that are outside those four that are that are near and dear to each one of our hearts that may be something different and I think when you put that piece together then you can start to tie it all together. I, I agree with you as far as um, where we are but I think it's more so for a new manager as opposed to an intro. Okay, I, I see we get down here he commences July the whatever day um, could he kind of just talk to us a little bit? Uh, he's, you say he's um, he's kind of studied us a little little bit. I'd like to see what he thinks of us. Then we know how we want to talk to him about <laughs> it. What? Whether, and, and I have a question. I thought we had already decided that he was going to serve as the manager in transition. And tonight that we were discussing yeah. the contents of the contract. Now we're asking him exactly. more or less come to a whole other interview. Yes. So, 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 yeah, I agree. Um, well, he got five months that he, that he got to start, though. Let him start tomorrow. We, um, <laughs> what are we looking at on start date? That's what uh, I want to talk about. Any further discussion on this motion on the contract? So I say since we've already decided that, um, hey, that he's um, our manager in transition, that we decide on the date. So are we, are we ready for a motion? Our motion to start. Already motion okay, but I'm just okay. You need to, where do we, where oh. we, what's the start date? We're tomorrow. I, tomorrow. I say he starts tomorrow. tomorrow. You need to right. start putting on. We well, couldn't start yesterday. Yeah, I said tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow start date. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um. Any further, any further discussion? Well, what about, um, and we're saying that we're going to pay him up to $1,000, so we're going to find out based on receipts how much it costs him to re relocate here, because you've already we're so relocated. Already, but, oh, okay. He's Just already got sure. oh, yeah. Okay. Um, he don't need the money. Huh. Well, he could have just put this into a bono. I'll donate it to the zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 you might want to put all these So, all right, so we got everything in place. Um, any, any, any other, any further unreadiness as it relates to the motion start date of tomorrow? I just got a question. Yes, sir. If he's, if, if is he available to yes, start sir. tomorrow? He's been here since Friday. Did you come in on Friday? He's, I think he came down Friday. I'm going to go for Friday now, yeah. but I can actually move in by Sunday. Okay. I'm going to tell you. Like an Oaks, right? Well, I've been here for a little bit. Now everybody knows where he lives. Oh, 
I'm sorry about the one I My address is I'm just as important. Well, you got here. So now we're going to public comment. Anybody here for public comment? Seeing no one, we're going to close public comment. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Are there any other items on this agenda? Parting remarks. Mr. Garner, you want to give us something right quick? Yes, sir. I do. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Council, for the vote. And, and I, I, I'd like to say, as soon as I can, within your time frame, I'd like to meet individually each one of you. And just just what you, you were saying there. I've, I've done a lot of some study. I don't know everything about Palatka, but I, I, I know where one street is versus, versus another one right now because I, I looked at the map and saw some of it. I've ridden around and, and this, uh, three times I've been here and I've ridden around and, and I'm, I'm very impressed with, with, with Palatka. It's like all small small towns, you know, it's got some good parts and bad parts and uh, hey, we just have to work together and I'm, I'm here to work with you in, uh, as collectively but I also work with you individually every way I can and that's the reason I sat down with each one of you individually. The mayor said today we went, went through, went through a fast run of the budget, and, and I, I started back reading minutes from January of 18, and uh, I'm, I'm coming forward. I, I think I've got to June of 18 so far to, today, but, uh, but I'm here to work for you. I'm here to make Palatka a better place. You know, I'll, give, I'll devote 125, 30%, 200%, whatever it takes to be here. Time, date, place, it doesn't make any difference. I'm, I'm here. Palatka's my, my place of employment. As of tomorrow, okay. And, uh, I'll give you today. <laughs> I told you like I told you like volunteers. Uh, just for the record, um, on the call, I think I said June instead of July night. Um, just want to make sure that correction is in place. Um, thank you very much, and I look forward. To thank you. Well, thank that's you. All, that's all I really want to hear. How you um, felt about us? I guess I appreciate my thank him. I look forward to um, start working with you on tomorrow and moving forward. So we'll have a conversation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank you. Mr. Holmes.